Welcome back everyone and we're from this point of view today because there's a little bit of a tutorial as well as a little bit of results. So the thing that we're talking about is hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. Now this was a recent update with the newest version of Windows so the May 2020 update which is 2004 version 2004 not year 2004 and what it brings with it is hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. Now, as far as being able to enable that, you're gonna have to have a driver that allows it. And currently, NVIDIA is the only ones that have a driver that does support it. And what we wanna do today is show you how to turn this on. And then we'll have a brief discussion on, is the performance worth it? Do you get enough out of it to go through the hassle of doing it? Now, it's a really simple, easy thing to do once you've got it set up, is you just, the, the, the quickest and easiest way to get to it is open your windows and type in, graphics settings you know right there where it says graphic settings open that up let it open now it's going to give you a bunch of options here for you know go by a uh, program so games programs whatever this is my test system so you see there's basically just the games on there no star citizen interesting i don't remember actually ever using that on here uh but you'll go to the change default graphic settings now here's the option for hardware accelerated gpu scheduling now it says reduce latency and improve performance. Now by it does that by decoupling the operating system from the graphics cards VRAM usage. So it lets the GPU handle its own VRAM, which should lead again to reduce latency and improve performance, especially in instances where you're memory constrained. So to do, turn it on, all you do is uh, flick the button and then you'll restart your PC for the effects to take place. What we did in an article that we'll link down in the description below if you wanna go check that out, I did take a few performance examples from a couple of different graphics cards and a couple of different games. Now, admittedly, it's not a comprehensive look. That's why over the article is labeled as a snapshot and not a performance evaluation. So we took the RTX 2080 Ti, ran it at 1080p and 1440p with Forza Horizon 4 and Gears Tactics at ultra settings just to see if there was a performance difference. And based on what we see on screen, there really wasn't. Now, Forza got a little bit of a boost at 1440p on with the scheduling on as far as the minimums go, a little bit. Basically, margin of error. Uh, but if you go down to the 1650 Super, which is a four gigabyte graphics card, and we ran it 1080p ultra settings, at Gears Tactics, we see between an eight and a 9% performance improvement on the averages as well as the minimums. So definitely a, a welcome addition there. It pushes the average over the 60 mark and pulls the minimum or the 99th percentile numbers up quite a bit. And the same thing is seen over on Forza Horizon 4 at 1080p Ultra settings. Now, admittedly, 95 FPS is already pretty high and going to 104 is just icing on the cake. The real kicker here is you go from 81 to 88 on your minimums. Again, it's, it's free performance. It's literally a combination of hardware accelerated GPU scheduling and the driver update that enables it. Now, the question that I have going forward that I'd like to leave for you guys to leave me a comment down in the comment section below is going forward with performance evaluations, should this feature be enabled? Now, right now it's only enabled on NVIDIA cards. AMD doesn't have a supported driver. They say they've got one coming, but it's not there yet. When it comes out, we'll do some performance comparisons on especially the lower end, because it seems to be where the performance gains is. Now at 4K on the 1080 Ti, if you're pushing the VRAM limits, probably will have an impact there as well. But higher end graphics cards don't seem to be quite as impacted by this. It seems to be a real benefit for those lower end stuff or the mid-range entry-level cards with lower VRAM capacity. So perhaps something like the 5600 XT could benefit as well as the 2060 with, the, with their six gigabytes of VRAM, especially at like a 1440p res resolution. Perhaps that'll be uh, something worth looking at once, uh, you know, we'll definitely revisit this as more comes along. But I just wanna show you guys how to enable it and well, who may benefit and who may not. It's definitely good to see things that come along and improve performance, I mean, Eight to nine percent is almost a tier of performance higher. So something to think about. For more on this and other news, follow the link in the description and make sure you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so that we don't miss you in the next one.